-hmm. Here are the pictures from my father. Yeah, it is. Oh, I can't believe he can't he still keep it. Oh, man. I don't remember this thing. It's very really good to me. <laughs> big, that's what he... I, I, I have no idea, no clue with this one anymore. You know that? If I don't see this, I don't know. My goodness. And I think he gave me a gun like this. Wow. A Swedish K, right? Yes, yeah, Swedish K. Right, Swedish K. My. Hi, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you bring this for me? Yeah. My God. And he said, well, I am. I have some picture of, and you know, Fox went, who is it? Who is this girl? I don't remember. My dad said that he thought she was the girlfriend of... Colonel Tom? No, no. Somebody, I don't remember. The man in the picture, the, the uh, friend of my father's that flew the plane, uh -huh. that was a guy named Dick Manns. Yeah. And he got very, he was hurt in a car accident years uh, later. Yeah. But he, man. he thought that... Uh, so precious to me. Wow, with this, you know, uh, Quantum die? Yeah. He passed away. Two a couple of years after he came to the United States, right? Yeah. Did you know his wife yeah. in the United States? Over in California. Yeah. I haven't met yet. Uh, you know, because I come over here, I don't have money to just work and work. You have, yeah. We have only two hundred dollars in the pocket. Wow. I come and work right away. Uh, and luckily, it's the second day I I apply for job this washer, and they accept me. I work five dollars seventy five cents an hour. Work really hard. I remember every night I have to wash, you know, the uh, what they call it, the mat, thick oh. like this, big like this. Oh, wow! And I, I have to lift it up to the washer all high up there. Oh. oh, but God give me strong back. How do I? Yes. So. This is a treasure to me. <laughs> it's a treasure. He thought That's, this girl was... I, it it's is. a very funny story, too, because yeah? my dad said that Colonel Tom said, you know, Dick, uh -huh. I have never walked in the jungle. I have only <laughs> flown over the jungle. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> he said, I would like once to walk in the jungle. And my dad oh, said, oh, I think I know somebody who can help us. <laughs> yeah. So he calls oh, this my. friend. Yeah. I, think, I hope I have the story right. Wow. He calls the friend Dick Manns yeah. from the Citadel. Oh, but they, man. Was, they went to uh, a military school in South yeah. Carolina. So this yeah. guy knew South Carolina. My father lived in South Carolina. Yeah. So he says, I'll get you there. Uh -huh. So my dad does the paperwork. Uh -huh. And everybody gets on this little plane, wow. and they go to take this I walk in the jungle. Know. But my dad's dad's thinking, be discreet, uh -huh. please be quiet about this because you know, I'm taking this plane for you know yeah. just so we can go to walk in the yeah, jungle. Yeah, this is a border we can land shortly. You know, this is a good airplane. Well, I know. so instead of being really quiet, uh -huh. Colonel Tong shows up with this beautiful girl. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and so oh. they're on Bin, you're in Binwa Air Force yeah, Base, I know, right? I know. He's seen. And this beautiful girl, she's, uh, she has a dress shop in uh -huh. Saigon, uh, he I, says. And oh. she's the girlfriend of another officer there. But she oh. wants to go on the walk on the jungle, in the jungle. So, so this beautiful girl, she's so pretty. Uh -huh. All the uh -huh. men on Binwa Air Force Base are like, yeah. oh, turn in their heads, turn in their heads. Look at this pretty girl. <laughs> and they fly, they fly out. You fly uh -huh. out. And my dad, I can't remember where my dad said. Uh -huh. They, that you took the walk, but they they made sure to sweep the area, make sure no Viet Cong were in the yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be as safe as possible. Oh, man. And they go to this place where these men have not seen uh -huh. a woman at all for like six months. Yeah. And suddenly there's this beautiful girl in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't believe it. I don't remember. So they but, go. Uh, this walk. area may be Lok Ninh or Hung Wan. It's an Orbin Wan. North of Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. So I, on the, uh, when they get in the porter to come back, they said, um, well, Tung, Colonel Tung, would you like to fly the plane? And he said, oh, yes, yes. So he flies the plane and he comes back and says, Dick, that was a very good plane. <laughs> yeah. And I know because yeah. it was very easy to fly I and know. I am very drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dad told me that later. <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. You can well, uh, keep this so you can keep uh -huh, it straight. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, those the uh, I don't know where to start. I know. I thought, in this thing, we can do it. In this one. Yeah, I I think we should answer. Uh -huh. Even though this is supposed to be for American military, I think we should answer it yeah. because you know you were weren't you a major? Uh, yeah, that guy was major. You yeah. were major? Yeah. Yeah, I think they should know that. Yeah. I think yeah. it should be in the record. Yeah. So we'll yeah, yeah. answer as many of these as we can, like position actually, and rank yeah. and. Uh -huh. Actually, you know, but, but forget it. I get promoted to the paper come, but you know, the officially. Uh -huh. I must be on the on the uh, on the uh, July, on the July, but you know, the April we oh. in the fall, but okay. on the paper so it's the major officially. But you were actually promoted from actually major promoted to major to Clinton Colonel because okay. I keep the office general two star. If uh, everything working fine, I made a full worker next year after that, and maybe general oh, two wow. years, three years later, because I I hold a big job, big office, you know. Yeah. The uh, commander of the uh, air defense nozzle, half country, added, you know. But forget about it. Just start with the major. Okay. Okay. But that's an yeah. important yeah. part of the story. Okay. So Dad said you were in an interceptor squadron? Yeah, interceptor squadron. What does that I, mean? That was a supersonic uh, airplane. It's like F-16 now, you know? Uh -huh. And interceptors, we just stand what? And every time, every day we have a two-story or four-story to practice, you know, like a boxer. Yeah. Practice training, but the other we have a, we have always at least four airplane to fly in the dome, ready when we find we see some enemy in the radar, uh -huh. scramble, press button, and from the button press, two minutes later we have to be in the air. You see how fast, mm -hmm. and so and why. Oh, when we dress, uh -huh. fly suit, G suit, everything, and we sleep right there, and the airplane right here, and we hear brrr, and jump out, and run, 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 to the airplane, and the uh, airman help us to hook up everything with the start engine, and two minutes in two minutes, in two and minutes. yeah, to intercept it means we come to encounter enemy, okay. and have a fight. So yeah. you got shot down twice? I got shot down because of ground fight before that. I flew ground support in the, uh, on the ground. Okay. And I got ground fight. But in the interceptor, we just practice and alert okay. all the time. Because the airplane from the north, it cannot go down to our area. That's why we don't have a real fight. But we have to have the a squadron right there, so they scare them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. If we don't have a squadron, interceptor squadron like there, they can come in anything, they can stick anything. But I was shot down at the, back to 1966 uh, and 1970, during the Cambodia War. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I flew F-5, but support them. Bombing. They should. I was shot down that time. And then you, um, I'm sorry, you parachuted? Yeah. Like they were shooting at you when? I parachuted and when I shoot about 3,000, 
They shoot at me. What did you do, like this? Oh, I tell you, when you face the dead, just a few seconds, you start, ow, oh, what I do? You can't breathe either. But after a few seconds, you don't die. You see, you don't die. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's what I pass. Okay. At first, I said, choo, choo, choo. Oh, why? You shoot me? And I was scared. You know, I wear the, uh, they, they say, survival kit. Uh -huh. Underneath, like that, about thick. There's everything there. Yeah. And inside, there's a fly, you know, the vest, make me rubber. So okay. on the on open sea, I can swim, I can, and, and I scare, so I put, and drop down there about 15 feet and swirl. <laughs> and I said, oh, stupid am I? <laughs> it's a rubber. <laughs> it can't protect me, <laughs> you know. But after that, I'm not scared. Okay. Go ahead. Because it's no way to run. Yeah. 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 But and I, I down, you know, when I land, before I land on the ground, I look around. I see the direction so I can run, you know. I know they are there over there, so they run this side. And about 15 minutes later, they surround me. I, I hear them talking. But I was so lucky. Yeah, yeah, helicopter come in, you know, they, 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 they saw me, so that's why they picked me up, yeah. Um, hey, were those the king bees? Huh? The king bees, did they come pick you up? No, this is a Vietnamese airplane. Oh, a Vietnamese airplane, yeah, okay. Yeah, Vietnamese uh, helicopter. I had been reading some stories about some Vietnamese helicopter pilots called the king bees. No, uh, this was different. I don't know. That's different. Okay. But you know, uh, every every uh, squadron they have uh, a call sign. Okay. So uh, I don't know much about the helicopter, Vietnamese helicopter, because they take different. Like the, my squadron, I know. Like my squadron call sign, the red arrow, red arrow. You know, okay. and then uh, if I'm commander, I will red arrow one. Yeah, deputy commander, red arrow two. But uh, when I when I commander the uh, red arrow squadron, that's when at Da Nang Air Base I moved to Da Nang, and your oh. dad back home already. Oh, yeah. Okay. I went up to Da Nang Air Base in 1972. Yeah. I think my father was angry that they sent him from Vietnam to Thailand. He wanted to be in Vietnam. Yeah. Because uh -huh. that's where he felt like the job was. Uh huh. And then he thought later, you know, God, you know, so much suffering that I didn't have there to are see. Many, so. There were so many things we don't understand. Yeah. You know, that is, later we found out that we fought the war not to win. I know. You see? Yeah. They, they are, you know, Vietnam, they're so stupid. Even Funberg Colonel, they go from the private up to Funberg Colonel. They cannot... <laughs> They cannot read and write either. Oh my you gosh. see? Yeah, they never went to uh, school, uh, academy to form an officer. Even after 75, 10 years maybe, I heard in 1985, and they opened the academy to form, to train the officer. And they picked the guy from Finnish high school to get him. Before that, no. Yeah, some guy. Von Burkhorn, they cannot write either. God. You see? They're, yeah. just, they're just like that and it is in the order. Yeah. yeah. They're just from the, the center of the operation. They say, move forward, take your battalion, go in there, go in there, take your regiment, go in there, and there. That's why many, many soldiers die. Yeah. Where, 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 where did you get your training? Well, I came in the Vietnamese Air Force and your tribe, two months. Okay. And then I was lucky. And then at that time, the Navy, they give the Vietnamese Air Force some, you know, sponsor, some sp uh, like a scholarship or something like that. Oh, okay. And so they send us, Adam, the first group, and go in the Pensacola. They divide many, many groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was in class for the. 4162. John McCann learned how to fly there too. 
but before me. Okay. Yeah. And uh, my class, there was the, I don't remember how many, but maybe 40, 45. And uh, there's a few black, and uh, the rest is the white. And me and my friend is a different me. And other class, you know, they, they, they divide many class, they, like a 35, 36, uh, blah, 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 blah. My class was a 42, 62, you know? And my class, there are two Vietnamese. But some other class are three, some other class four, with the American. We study the same thing, everything. Gym, swim, boxing, everything. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, no exception. If you cannot, go home. Yeah, we... Vietnamese group, we have some uh, some people sent home because he cannot fly, swim. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. and, and later, some cannot fly. He get in the airplane, he vomit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, uh, and then after that, we, uh, we study academic. Uh -huh. Everything. Uh, geometry, math, and everything, you know. And... Uh, History, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and in English. So we study harder than American, you see, because language. But oh, yeah. finally, I get, we get good grades uh, because we study hard. And then we passed academic, passed swim, and uh, sport and everything, obstacle course. Running, oh, you know, yeah. like a. Well, yes, like, like from here to your. <laughs> yeah, like Marine Corps telling, you know. Oh, and then survival. I don't know how, I don't remember how many, a week or four days I'm in the jungle. No food. Oh, God. Yeah, we divide in a group of five or four or something like that. We go through the jungle around. <laughs> in, the, in the winter, oh, my. You know, we uh, keep the water from the creek, and we put, you know, teepee, the uh -huh. Indian? Yeah, we sleep in the teepee. And then water for the uh -huh. washing. And in the morning, wake up, <laughs> all ice. Oh, God. Because ice. We have to <laughs> make fire, <laughs> and make it become water, and then we, yeah. And then we continue, goes um, like that. We have water. We have peel, they give us peel to drink the water in the creek. Okay. Something like that. And uh, my, my, my son called me, okay. Um, hello, Jimmy. I, uh, I, I, live, I, I stand in, in the Hotel Cosmo with the American friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. As the interview, we talk about the war. I'm home later, okay? Okay. You okay? You okay? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I, I should uh, call you. Okay, bye. And my son, I, I forgot to tell him, oh, so okay. he worried about me, because usually at this time I'm home, right? Ah. Yeah. Good, good son. So, yeah. And, uh, so the first time you got shut down, you said you were at 12,000 feet, or you told me the... Yeah, 12,000, and we punch out, yeah, punch And then out. the second time? The second time, I made the uh, grass landing, okay. I, yeah, I made a grass landing in the rice paddy field, you know. Uh, but I was so lucky. They, they chased me. Yeah. <laughs> But I run to the uh, friendly troop, you know, finally I sail. But in the uh, 75, I was stopped because I, I think they, they stopped at the 13 parallel and that's it, no more war because I think in the uh, uh, Geneva, Agreement, 1973, in effect, but really cheating. You know, Kissinger, and yeah, he's a. Yeah. Yeah. 
is uh, recorded too late uh, at night. <laughs> I, I've heard some other right. works too. <laughs> yeah, right. So, uh, and so I did cut like the other many people, many people. But finally, I'm lucky. I'm still alive. I tell you, I'm still alive. I'm lucky. I think God saved me. He want me to serve him and because I tell a lot of people, I'm not a hero. I'm here because God saved me. Because excuse me. Hello con. Khỏe con. À, Daddy đang ở Cosmo tại có con gái của người bạn vợ chồng đó, phỏng vấn đó đi nè à, tại à, bữa nào đi đi nói chuyện cho nghe chút xíu ok phỏng vấn cái chuyện cuộc đời của nó đi hồi xưa đó con tại à, bà này là bà là bà làm cho diện đại học tech của ở tiết sáp đó ok bữa nào đi nói nghe thôi bay nghe bay not a son two we have two son This guy is married. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, my father told me that you were originally you were Buddhist. Yes. And yes, Buddhist three generation. Okay. The reason I become Christian because of when I was after six years in prison. Oh man, I lost weight out, and I sick, I almost died. And I pray, you know, in uh, Vietnam, there are all kind of stuff in religion. Mm -hmm. Even the Buddhists, they worship many God. Okay. You know, and I know because I I grown up, you know, since I kid, I was kid, so I pray all kind of God like they did, <laughs> but in no effect, no effect. One night, one night, I would dream. Like somebody remind me, why don't you ask for help from Jesus? And I woke up and said, Jesus, help me get out of this. I don't know how to pray. Please forgive me. Help me. I just said, and you know, and I getting better and better and better. That's why when I moved down to the, when after 10 years, they, they move out because many people die. They move out down to the south, and my wife come in. The sec the second wife, not not the first one, when uh, when uh, Dick over there, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, because she left me, and then uh, I say, uh, find me a Bible. And uh, she Christian, you know, but I, that's why I say God punish me. <laughs> I marry her. I accept. I say okay, accept, but I didn't accept. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> you know, I lie. <laughs> That's why. You oh. know, after that, until now, I still pray. God, please forgive me. I know you're generous. <laughs> you love God. You know, and and then, uh, but you know, the Bible we get in the, in the camp. That's very hard. But we have to think it. How did you do it? My wife come, give the Bible to the guy outside. He's, he's a, you know, peasant. And he, that guy hooked up with the guy the, the, the inside the camp. He's a he police. You hear money? Okay. Okay, he so brought him. He bribed him. Okay. And he bought somewhere. All right, and then all again. I have to keep it in secret. I read it whenever I can. Not mm -hmm. everybody know, you know. Yeah. But uh, when I get out and I uh, become baptized and have the uh, baptism, and, uh, but I I still weak, very weak. Yeah. But I know that God. He is. Mm -hmm. Love, God of love, He love. He know what you do, but He, he forgive you, you know. And uh, that's why He helped me when
when I come over here, I study theology. That's why I understand from when I finish that class, I understand. Okay. Yeah, before I still so weak. Yeah. My father said when you uh, went into prison, you weighed 160. When you came out, you weighed 81 pounds. 81 pounds, yeah, 168. 168, yeah. Just uh, 81 pounds. And you said you survived by eating crickets and worms? Oh yeah, warm, earthworm, yeah. and a cricket, grasshopper, snake, rarely, rat. Oh man, that's delicious, <laughs> luxury. <Yeah. laughs> you, you can, you can wear it right now, but that was little. <laughs> yeah, protein, you know, and, and luxury. <laughs> Deluxe food, I'm telling you. <laughs> Very hard to get one, <laughs> and you know we're so hungry that there's, there's something like that. They they eat something, they make it rice, and, uh, bread, or something they throw in there, huh? and we see nobody. We steal that, and we really cook them, we eat them. Okay. Yeah, because we're so hungry. And some friend of mine he died because of <coughs> she's so hungry, so. He cannot control himself, so go to the jungle and there and any kind of fruit. Now I have experience. Any kind of fruit, sour, you can eat, but sweet, be careful. Mm. If in the jungle, if you don't know that before, yeah. never eat the sweet one. Okay. Yeah, or something like uh, uh, there's some kind of fruit that's small like this, but. When you eat inside, the, the meat like a big peanut, okay. it kill too. Oh. Yeah, but something sour, yeah. it's okay, it's safe. Okay. Yeah, like that. <laughs> hard lesson. Yeah, that's really hard. And uh, you try to hold hungry, you don't die. You live longer, but you eat and anything you can be that. And I have experience. You know, because you feel hungry, you tie your belt. Just literally tighten your belt. Tie more, <laughs> tie more. And you we grab this string in the, in the jungle. Uh -huh. There are a lot of kind of string. Okay. Long, like a 20 feet, you know. You put them out, wrap around it. <laughs> you feel good. <laughs> you don't feel hungry anymore, yeah. That's why, that's why over here, people have big belly, mm -hmm. they cut the stomach. Uh. A guy like that. Yeah, I know friend at church, American. Yeah. You know, she, she, she cut. She said, okay, I was like this, but now she's skinnier than you. Yeah, she cut you know, half of the uh, yeah. stomach. Yeah. So uh, when you when you uh, go around somewhere traveling, we don't have any McDonald's yet. <laughs> Just tie your belt. <laughs> you feel okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm gonna remember story. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And uh, when you are uh, thirsty, mm -hmm. don't drink. Just a sip and hold your mouth, and that's it for a long time. And later, just another sip. Don't drink so much; it still make you thirsty. And then when you run out of water, maybe you die. But just take a sip and hold it. You can live many 